Yo, what up world? Welcome back to another beat making video. Today I just wanted to show you this beat that I arranged in kind of like an old school way. And what I mean by that is like, you remember those tracks from like the early 2000s and late 90s? And I mean, you still hear them today, but they would have like four or five rappers on them. Um, you don't hear it as much anymore. It's used, Now it's usually just like Post Malone featuring Nicki Minaj, but like back in the day, uh, especially with like big rap groups like Wu Tang and all, and all that stuff, uh, Dipset and all those, you know, like rap groups, uh, they would have four or five different rappers on one track, you know, Three Six Mafia, stuff like that. Then a little later, Young Money. Um, so I kind of arranged that with, I kind of arranged this with that style in mind so basically it's just you know standard eight bar intro then we have 16 a 16 bar verse and that would be for one rapper and then we kind of drop out a bit uh, you know just the melody plays and then another 16 bars then we drop out again and then we got another 16 bars and it'll be a different rapper every time um and yeah that was kind of just the approach i was going for for this um but with that being said this is very much not an old school beat. Like it's very much a 2019 trap beat, like for sure. And I will play that for you now. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's the beat. Um, tempo is set at 117, so it's not too fast. And the main melody I have here in Omnisphere, it's actually a riff that I used to play on guitar um, in a band that I used to be in. And uh, this was just a riff that I would, I would play in the band. And I just kind of just transposed it into MIDI and played it a half step down. And it sounds like this. So yeah, it kind of has like a Linkin Park feel to it. Um, but yeah, that is being played in Omnisphere on a lap steel uh, guitar. And a, a lap guitar is basically one of those guitars that are literally, they sit in your lap and you see them a lot in like country bands and like bluegrass and stuff like that. And it's usually played with like a slide. It's not a, like a really common instrument, but um, you do hear it in country and bluegrass if you're into that kind of stuff. And then to go under that melody, I just have these uh, double stops. Um, a double stop is just a, basically just a chord with two notes in them. And that's just this descending thing. I start on C sharp and we end on G sharp. And it's just a male choir. And that sounds like this. So that with the melody sounds like this. All right, so moving along to the drums, so when the beat really drops, just got basic um, trap sounds and an 808 and flex. Hi hats are kind of messed around with the pitch. It's not something I do normally, but I'm starting to get into that more. Um, just pitching down the hi-hats just gives it so much more bounce. And it's definitely something that I'm going to be doing uh, more often in my future beats. Uh, so, and the rest of this is just, you know, 808 snare, 808 clap, you know, shit you heard so many times before. 
Uh, this kick is laid with an 808 kick. But I kind of like this one because it had a little, like a little snap to it. And that's just being layered. Uh, and yeah, all together. Oh, and I have this China gong symbol. Pretty light, pretty light symbol, and I just reversed that so it can swell up. So the drums sound like this. And you probably heard that weird sound. That was this. I don't even know really. I just like to throw a weird sound in there in my beats every now and then. Um, so yeah, all together. If you want to hear the 808 and the click together. Uh, and that 808 is in flex and that is just 808 synth boosted with a little drive and a little release. I'm also using this clap and that reverb you hear is um, that clap just want to make sure I'm on the right yeah I think this is my clap bus and that is just alti verb in the Disney hall I don't know I just picked a random Hall, and that's why the clap sounds so big probably too big for a track like this that's like something you might hear in a I don't know an EDM song or something And yeah, so that's 16 bars and the beat drops and we just have the melody playing, basically just the intro. And then the second time that happens, I just change it up a little bit. I just have a filter sweep on the main melody just to break up the, uh, just, just to make it different. Yeah, that just swells up and then I have a like a full-on stop here where everything stops except for the swell you can even get rid of that Yeah, either one sounds cool, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's this beat that I kind of formatted in like an old school way. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you want this beat, I am giving it away for free. The beat is called Nikki. Uh, so if you're interested, if you're interested in it, just um, give this video a like, subscribe, and shoot me an email just saying I want Nikki. And yeah, I will gladly send this out to you. Peace.